Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, and this is for the week of December 28th through January 3rd. So, Happy New Year. Um, keep in mind, not every reading is for you. This reading may or may not be for you, and the timing is still fluid, okay? Uh, what do we have for cancer? There's a message from the universe. What does the universe want you to know? What do we have for cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. High Priestess. So yeah, you, you're going to be feeling things this week, which makes sense because of the full moon. Okay, the full moon in your sign. So your intuition, you're going to be getting all kinds of signs. Your intuition is going to be speaking to you. You are going to be hearing things. You're going to be sensing things. You're going to be feeling things. You're going to be really getting all kinds of messages. Okay, intuitive messages. Um, you may want to spend time alone to reflect on the things that you're he hearing. This is a very receptive time. You're going to be receiving um, a lot of uh, guidance, okay? A lot of guidance from within and from the universe, okay? Um, there's not much more to say. Otherwise, uh, this is needing time to decipher the messages that are coming. Don't reject them. Listen to them. Okay, you may be feeling a little distant. You may be feeling a lot, a lot, of, a little bit overwhelmed because you're, you're getting so. You may be getting downloads. You know, one right after another. You know, you're going through. Maybe you're going through a spiritual awakening at this time. Uh, whatever is happening, it's a very spiritual time where you're going to be connecting. You're going to be connecting to an outside force of some sort. Um, for some of you, you could also be dealing with somebody that is um, very connected to source. Okay, because this is source energy. Um, this is a healer. Um, this is a healer, a tarot reader, a medium, a psychic, uh, a counselor, an empath. Um, so this, this is, this could be either be your energy or somebody that is in your energy. This is somebody that is really has some sort of healing ability. Okay. Receptive, uh, ability. Okay. One more card, please. Oh, we're going to get one more. Oh, there it is. Younger woman. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. So we have a younger woman here. Fan, romance, celebration, party. June. June is very prominent. Okay, so some of you are born in the month of June, right? But you could also be dealing with a Gemini. You could be dealing with another Cancer or a Gemini. I wanted to say Taurus at the beginning, but I stopped myself. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus. Um, but June is very prominent. Something may have happened in June of this year or another year, or something is going to come to fruition in, in, in another year, you know, in the month of June. I want you to think about June. Think about what happened in, in June, okay? Think about what happened in June of this year, just, just for instance, okay? Um, there is dealings with a younger woman that, you're, that are going to be at the surface this week. There's going to be some sort of celebration, okay, there is, or a party that may bring you romance, all right? Um, what do we have for cancer? Oh. Queen of Pentacles reverse. It's interesting. I wanted to say Taurus, but we could be dealing with the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, this is somebody that is very stubborn, very hot-headed. Um, jealous, possessive, controlling, 
uh, when you get the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, you may sense that something is off. You may have somebody here that is unstable. They're insecure. They're um, this is somebody that is old fashioned. This could be like a fuddy duddy that is hanging on to something that they should be letting go of. Um, there could be a money grabbing individual here that somebody is just after money, you know, and you may sense that you may know that I feel like you have some sort of inner knowing about something. Uh, there isn't, there is at least one individual here that, um, is unstable and very, very stubborn and controlling. I'm not sure it's your energy. I think it's somebody else. Um, princess of cups. So this is an admirer expressing feelings. There's going to be a lot of feelings because the high priestess is all about feelings as well. Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings this week. The feelings are going to be at the surface. If they've been pushed down, they're not going to be pushed down this month or this week. Okay, this is a younger woman. This is a younger woman. So you could be the younger woman or um, there is a younger woman here that is probably... I feel like there's a younger woman here. I mean, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this person is very, um, I don't know, maybe disloyal. I mean, there could be some disloyalty here. It doesn't have to be a woman. I mean, this could be a man or a woman. Um, there is going to be a message. You're going to be receiving a message from somebody. You may be, re and you maybe you sense it, sense that it's coming. Okay, or you could be sending the message. Okay, there could be easy being some telepathic communication going on here. You know that's a real thing. Okay, I mean, you maybe some people may think it's not realistic, but it is. Anyhow, I do feel like you're going to be communicating with somebody um, that you are deeply, deeply connected to. Um, now, the Princess of Cups is typically good news. Very, very emotional. So there is, there is going to be an emotional time. The Emperor Reverse. So somebody has deserted another person in their time of need. This is definitely very controlling energy. Very, very, very controlling. Somebody has uh, made a poor decision. They may have received some poor counsel. Uh, this is somebody that doesn't want to take responsibility. Um, they could be corrupt. They could, we could have somebody here that is above the law, that is inexperienced, that isn't very wise, that has made a poor decision. And now they're angry. So somebody, I mean, the emperor in reverse is angry. I mean, we could be dealing with somebody that is a tyrant, that doesn't treat people very well. This is somebody who likes to be the boss, that is the boss and will not listen. I, 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 I. Um, ooh, two of cups reversed. So I do feel like we have a, a separation of some sort here. We have a separation. We have a disharmonious, an unharmonious partnership. We have a lot of, we have control issues. We have power and control issues here. We have one person, well, both people. Both people are wanting to be in control, and that's a problem. That's a problem. There's no, there's no peace. There's no harmony. There's no working together. Okay, so I feel like there there could be some sort of, I mean, when you get the two of cups reversed, there could be a separation. Um, but this is actually, I mean, I know that you probably don't think this, and and it could be with somebody else because, but this is like good news. It is good news. There's another opportunity here. Okay, there's another opportunity here, but somebody's not being practical. They're not being realistic. They're holding on to something that they need to let go of. And it could be because of society, you know, social pressure. Anyhow, we have somebody that is not interested in helping. They're not interested in uh, being in a partnership anymore, but they can't, they're, whoever they're dealing with won't let them go. So that could be a problem. Um, no, there it is. Temperance reversed. So this is very frustrated. Going overboard. Uh, moody. Yeah, there's probably going to be some mood swings. You're going to need time alone. You are going to need time alone. 
there's instability here or instability, being ungrounded, maybe being too emotional. This is ungrounded. You may, you may be having a hard time mastering your emotions this week. You may. Because there's control here. There's control issues. Somebody may be trying to control you, you know. Um, or they're trying to control another person. Uh, temperance reverse. This is uh, losing balance. A lack of balance. A lack of flexibility. Um, repeating negative patterns. Refusing to change. Going overboard. Somebody's going overboard. And, and there could be... Somebody could get angry with that emperor reverse. There could be some anger because somebody's trying to control somebody to a certain extent, you know, and that can cause an, an explosion of some sort. Anyhow, um, there's a need to re-examine. There's a need to re-examine a partnership. And there's, there's some sort of uh, imbalance here. Definitely. Mm -hmm. I mean, temperance reversed is not healthy, frustrated, going overboard. It's extremes, inappropriate behavior. There's some inappropriate behavior here. Somebody's acting inappropriately, and it could cost them a partnership, okay? Because the partnership is acting inappropriately, and this is a partnership. But it's, going, it's not going in the right direction when you get the two of cups reversed. Okay, this is a detachment. There's definitely an imbalance, and and there's control there's strong control here we may even have like a narcissist type of energy it the ten of swords now this is like a i mean it says ruin on the card but the ten of swords is the straw that breaks the camel's back you know this is this is the worst that can happen something something bad could could happen Something really bad could happen, okay? And I think it could happen because somebody goes overboard. You know, their self, the, the temperance reverse is self-medicating. Somebody could go overboard. They could set, be self-medicating over a separation, a painful, separ a painful separation, you know, and they could go overboard. They could. Um, so be careful if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're, you know, don't go to extremes, Really, really make sure that you are being logical, that you're being practical. I think we have somebody here that is um, in their feelings. They're in their feelings. They're feeling everything, and it's overwhelming. I feel like it's overwhelming. Uh, this is this is really painful. This is this is getting stabbed, betrayed, hurt. This is the death of a situation. Okay, it is with the Ten of Swords. This is this is this could be the end. This could absolutely be the end. It could be the end of a partnership because somebody doesn't want to take responsibility and they may be self-medicating. Okay, they may be self-medicating and they may, you know, it could end very badly. So, um, may have something to do with drinking with the Page of Cups or even drugs with the Temperance card reversed. There could even be some criminal activity here, okay, with the emperor reverse. There could be, you know, criminal activity. Um, Ten of swords, that is, that's a very painful ending of some sort. Ending of a partnership, because the two of cups in reverse is right next to it. But this is also freedom, freedom from pain. Somebody is trying to mask their pain. Now the Six of Pentacles. This is about give and take. Receiving something. Somebody is, is looking to receive something. There is power and control here. There is definitely power and control. Somebody may be, may be looking in all the wrong places for an escape. It feels like they're looking for an escape. Now the Six of Pentacles is about power, control. What goes around comes around. 
restoring balance. Balance needs to be restored. And it's not. Okay, it's not. Somebody's about to get what they deserve, and I hate to say that. Death. Oh my God. Now death is the end of a situation. It's a, car, it's a time of transition. It's a time of transformation. We do have a separation here. And I feel like there's it's painful. We I do I, this is this is definitely a painful ending, okay? But I hate to say this, but the page of cups is typically good news. Okay? There's or it's very emotional. It definitely emotions are gonna be all over the place. Okay? Um there's another opportunity here. There's there is another opportunity here, but this is an ending. It's the end of, of a painful situation. This is an ending that leads to a new beginning. It is. So we have an ending that leads to a new beginning. But it's going to be a painful ending. I'm sorry. I am sorry. It's the end of a partnership. It is. And this is because somebody deserves something more. They deserve something more. That's what the six is. They deserve more than the crumbs that they're getting from whoever this controlling individual is. Okay, somebody's just getting crumbs. They're just getting crumbs. They're not receiving what they deserve. And they deserve something more. Okay? Death is a profound change. It's destruction. Okay? It's a transformation. It's a new it's an ending with a new beginning to follow. So yes, there is going to be an ending. It is the end of a partnership of some sort because that is a partnership. And it's going to hurt. There's there's been there's been some sort of uh I don't know, maybe it's mental abuse because this is mental and the emperor reversed is abuse. Maybe dealing with a father, could be a husband, business owner, somebody that is in a position of authority and abuses their power. There's definitely an abuse of power here. And I feel like, I feel like there's going to be, uh, maybe there's, there could even be an angry outburst of some sort. Um, we have a very stubborn individual that is very possessive and jealous. This person is going to go to extremes. This is extremes. So there's, the, and I feel like there's, there's going to be uh, an extreme betrayal of some sort. Somebody may betray another person in a way that you never expected, okay? Or maybe you did. Maybe you sensed it. There's definitely been so, some sort of betrayal here because a ton of... Ten of Swords is betrayal. It says ruin on the card. So this is a, a ruined partnership. But we do have an opportunity for a new beginning here with both of these cards. But there's going to be some ups and downs with the Temperance Reverse. There is. There's going to be some ups and downs. Uh, I don't know if, if even... You know, I, I feel like with this is kind of like the justice card to me. I'm not sure if the law gets involved. You know, I feel like I feel like somebody could go to extremes. They may be very angry and upset, and I don't know if they get the law involved. You know, and they do something unthinkable. You know. Mm. Anyhow, this is the end of. A partnership that has been very, very painful. Period. Starting a new life. Somebody is turning their back. They are. They're turning their back. They're going in a new direction. They could lose their balance. Somebody could even lose their balance. They could. This could be a physical or mental collapse. 
with the Ten of Swords. Somebody they could hit the ground. Somebody could hit the ground. This is imbalance as well with the Temperance reverse. This is illness. It could be mental illness. We may have somebody here that is seriously. So in self medicating, somebody is self medicating, and it could end. Like I said, it could end badly. Um, so they could, somebody could go to a party. They could go to a party and seriously overdo it. This is overdoing it. I don't know if it has some of for some of you it may have to do with drugs. It feels like somebody's handing something to somebody, you know, and you know, it, and they may or not wake up. I'm just being honest. I mean, I hate to say that, but. Um, for those of you that, 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 that this is not drug related, this is the end of a partnership because of some sort of betrayal. Okay, there could be some sort of uh, message that comes through that causes upheaval, that causes chaos, and that's what ends it. Okay? There's definitely going to be a fight. Five of Wands, that's a fight, that's a battle. And there's some competition here. It says strife on the card, but the five getting burned. Somebody is, is, is getting burned, okay? They're getting burned by another person. They don't even see it coming. Um, get prepared for a change that comes from a conflict, okay? Um, this battle is about to end, and I feel like it is about to end because it's time for it to end. Okay, it's time to burn a bridge, perhaps. Perhaps this bridge needs to be burned. It's time to start over. It's time for a new life. But you will have to uh, probably walk away, you know, walk away from the battle. Stop playing games. Somebody has been playing games. Because it's a game. Five of Wands is some sort of game. It's definitely going to be a very emotional time, okay? Be prepared to be in your emotions. You will need to retreat. You will need to retreat. There could be somebody, we have somebody that deserted somebody in their time of need. I feel like that person that deserted somebody in their time of need is going down. That's who I feel like this, this person that is going down is the one that had no morals. The one that uh, deserted somebody. The one that hurt another person. The one that betrayed. The one that didn't care. You know, the one that... Uh, gave crumbs you know the one that gave crumbs is the one that is going down that's how i feel so yeah i feel like there's some news coming uh that you probably you know uh is gonna make you i don't know i feel like it's gonna make you lose your composition in some way you know you're gonna it's gonna cause you to feel very uneasy by the looks of things but this ending whatever there's definitely an ending here there is there is an this ending leads to a new life and there's another opportunity with that page of cups there's an opportunity for love and you will be receiving some sort of support It feels like we have a father figure or a husband or somebody that has, uh, somebody has betrayed their partner. They have betrayed their partner or they have betrayed another person that they have some sort of contract with. They have. And now this person is about to experience, I don't know, maybe it's a breakdown of some sort. One more card and that's it. Something is definitely off. Somebody is going overboard and they may not be able to pick themselves up from whatever this situation is. Ooh! 
one more card and that's it I shouldn't I you know this is this is definitely a fated event okay so be prepared be prepared for uh, a major disruption okay this is a major life-changing event this is a shock this will this will be a shock okay there could be an internal disruption there could be an accident uh, whatever is that there could there could be an explosion whatever is happening light is going to be shed light is going to be shed on a false sense a false sense of security things are about to fall apart on a false foundation it's built on false pretenses it's not stable it's insecure get prepared get prepared for the storm because there's a storm coming there is there could definitely be a fight this is this is a, this is a totally being uprooted. It is. Oh God, get prepared. I don't think you can prepare for it. You can't. This will allow you or the other person to start with a clean slate. This is a necessary evil. This is the universe saying it is time for a change. Somebody needs to change. You can't hold on to this false sense of security and pretend that it's stable. It's not. So get prepared for a disruption that changes your life. This is like a disaster. But it breaks, this is freedom, it breaks you free. And brings you what you deserve. Good luck.